Hey guys, it's me. So sorry for the weird angle. I don't have a tripod and this is the quietest place in my house that I can do stuff. But uh, I thought I would talk about some sins that I commit as a musician and as a guitarist. Uh, just stuff that I do that I guess I just never really grew out of. Um, you know, because it's funny. You know, this is going to be kind of short. Uh, so, first things first, I don't know how to sweet pick. Never learned how to sweet pick. I know that they say it's, you know, you make arpeggios and mute with your, your right hand or whatever, but I just, I just can't quite, I don't have the dexterity to really get my, uh, my head around that, you know. Whatever. Uh, I can't make a pinched harmonic on demand. So I'm kind of doing it there, you can't really hear you got to have distortion to make it work. But I honestly, I can't make a pinched harmonic on demand. It's just something that kind of happens uh, whenever I decide to do it. Also, uh, I read tabs. I, I can read sheet music. I read in both the treble and the bass clef. Um, however, uh, I choose not to. And I know that kind of ruffles a lot of people's feathers. Whenever I play, for example, flute or tin whistle, I will read in actual sheet music. Uh, but whenever I play guitar, for some reason, it's just easier to read tabs. Um, I understand what the notes are, but I feel like it's more intuitive and I can kind of see uh, which strings and which frets the composer really wants me to hit as opposed to just the actual notes so I can kind of get a feel of the t of the technique. So yes, I, I do primarily read tabs when I play guitar. Uh, also, I get all of my music from Guitar Pro. I do not use Songster. I know a lot of people say that that is like a huge taboo, like, oh, you're supposed to use Songster. Guitar Pro is for noobs. But honestly, I feel like uh, with Songster, I can't really download the Guitar Pro files, which I use to create a lot of my backing tracks whenever I do covers. So I prefer to use, uh, I prefer to use Ultimate Guitar, um... Did I, did I say Guitar Pro this whole time? Sorry. Yeah, I use Ultimate Guitar, not Songster, uh, because I can get the Guitar Pro tabs. That's that's pretty much what it is, and I can I can filter stuff out and make backing tracks if I want. And yeah, it's not studio quality, but whatever. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to be studio quality. Uh, a big thing also is I don't know what 90% of the chords that I make are called. Like, I know this is a D... And then, uh, but then whenever I do the, the little pinky up here, like whenever Rush plays Fly By Night, you know, I don't know what that other chord is called. I mean, I know that my, my finger goes onto the G right here, but that's not a G chord. This is a G chord. So I'm not playing. That's too full. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is called. Uh, and I don't know, you know, whenever I play some of my own songs, like whenever I play, um, it's like whenever I play Gulf of Planets, when I play the, the little bit, Tidings of Green, oh, hang on, whatever. I don't know what those chords are. Some of them are, like, just my hand barring three strings. Some of them are, you know, it's one half step up. Others, I'm kind of, like, staggered going kind of like, you know, so so this one's on, like, the sixth, seventh, eighth fret going down to the lower strings. I don't know what that's called. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what most of the chords I play are called. Um, I just play them because they sound good. Um, now, uh, oh, and then uh, also I want to say that usually whenever I play chords, I usually do like the whole first, fifth octave power chord. You know, like whenever I play a lot of my stuff, so, you know. Or I'll do the third. Whatever. I mean, I guess those are power chords. I don't know. I don't know the exact names of them. I know, like, whenever I play Rush, they talk about the whole F-sharp suspended chord. But I don't know what makes it suspended, you know? I get F-sharp because the root is F-sharp, but I don't oh. know. Well, it, it just sounds cool. You know, the chords that I play, I play them because they sound cool. Um, also, I want to say I 
cannot tune my guitar by ear. Like, whenever I go into drop D tuning, that's easy because I can just... You know, whatever. But then, you know, sometimes if I've had this thing sitting around for a while, like maybe it's against a wall and the pegs come, you know, you know, undone, or, you know, maybe my kid gets a hold of him and he turns all the pegs around, I can't get that back to normal. I gotta use a machine. I, I, I am, uh, I, I don't wanna say tone deaf, like whenever, like whenever I hear certain notes, let me see. Like whenever I hear like an E, it just, it sounds like an E to me, you know? But, I don't know, for the most part, I, I can't figure it out. Um, so I gotta use a machine to do that. So, yeah, those are the sins that I, as a guitarist, composer, and musician, commit. However, uh, something that I will say... Oh, I also want to say, I'm left-handed, and I still play right-handed style. Uh, it's just how I learned. Um, but yeah, so those are the sins that I commit as a guitar player. I just thought it would be good to confess them and get them out to you, uh, so you guys know. I felt like there was, oh, yeah, I was gonna say a lot of people may give me a lot of grief for it, but, you know, yes, I realize that I'm not as skilled a guitar player as, you know, for example, John Petrucci or whoever, but, you know, I feel like my compositions are decent and I am a decent enough player so I feel like uh, whatever I have done um, has not really been a disservice one way or another. I, I, I play decent enough for me, decent enough to make good songs. I understand music theory enough to make good songs. You know, you don't have to know what chords are called to, to understand that a chord sounds good. Uh, I think as long as you know your, your major scales... and your minor scales. And you understand the difference between a major and a relative minor. I think you're, you're pretty much set on most things. So yeah, 